Hi, it's Tricia here from Equine Energetics. I'm an animal communicator and healer. And this is my top 10 easy ways to practice animal communication. Animal communication doesn't have to be hard. In fact, there are some pretty easy ways to practice uh, regularly. Whether you're a complete beginner, a professional, or somewhere in the middle, all that's really required in order to be good is practice. And the good news is there are lots of easy ways to practice your animal communication skills that you can incorporate into your day and might already be doing. Not all animal communication is the woo-woo kind. So the first six things are ones that anyone can do. And you can do them daily or every time you're with your horse. Number one, observe his body language. If you get skilled at noticing your horse's body language, you're actually listening to him. He's communicating to you. Notice what his ears are doing, where he's looking, how high or low his head is. How much tension is there in his body or his face? Get really curious about what his body is telling you. Number two, notice his behavior. Notice any behavior changes. Was he harder to catch today? Why? What does that tell you? Remember that changes of behavior aren't just your horse being annoying. It's one of the ways that he's trying to communicate with you to tell you that something's wrong or he needs you to do something differently. Number three, listen to his opinions. If your horse wants or doesn't want, to do something, listen to him. Acknowledge what he's trying to tell you and think about why he's telling you that. Is he just dominating you? I don't think so. Again, it's him trying to communicate with you. So if you can give him what he's asking for, do. Shouldn't he be allowed to have opinions? If you can't give him what he wants today, maybe he's asking to stay in the paddock when you have the farrier coming, then I'd recommend just verbally explaining things to him. You can say, I hear you, I get it. I understand you'd rather stay out today, but I really need you to come in now because and I promise next time you ask to stay in the paddock, you can. But today I need you to come in. The bonus is that the more you listen to, acknowledge and act on your horse's opinions, the more he'll share them with you. Number four, ask his permission. A great way to practice your animal communication skills daily is to start asking your horse permission before you do anything with him. Before you enter his paddock, before you approach him, before you catch him, before you touch him. Does that sound too much to you? Why? Is it really okay to assume that we should be able to do whatever we want to? I wrote a whole blog about this and I'll put the, lot, the link in the comments for you. But by routinely, either verbally with your body language or mentally asking your horse permission, you'll start to notice his answers more. You might notice different body language or behavior, and you might start to hear him respond to you. Give it a go, even if it's just for 
a day, a few days, and maybe all the time. Number five, be in the moment when you're with your horse or when you're practicing your animal communication skills, however you do that. When you're with him, be with him. Be in the moment with him. Close your eyes, focus on your breathing, clear your mind and just be. Be like a horse. If you're doing something with him, whether it's leading or riding, practice clearing or softening your mind and your body and noticing what's around you. So take pleasure in the moment together rather than just focusing on your goal. That's how horses live. So meet him there. Number six, this is one of my top tips that I do in every animal communication session and, and regularly recommend for owners to do with their own animals. And that is to send him pink. Possibly the nicest and most loving thing you can do for your horse is to imagine sending pink or love from your heart to his. It's a beautiful way to communicate with him heart to heart and to show him what he means to you. And again, this might not sound like animal communication, but what you're doing is you're reaching out to them. You're saying, I'm giving you this unconditionally. And then you're just open to whatever comes back to you. So that was one to six. Now these next ones are more intermediate or advanced ways of practicing your animal communication skills. Are you ready? These might take a little more practice. So you probably wouldn't want to do them every day. Number seven is to visualize. Top athletes and riders use visualization to imagine their way to success, to improve their focus, and to practice their techniques. In terms of animal communication, visualizing what you would like your horse to do can give him a really clear message. It also enables you to really connect with his mind. If you practice sending him clear pictures of the things you would like him to do or what you're about to do with him, you might find you start receiving them from him too. Number eight is to meditate with your horse. Sit somewhere near him where you won't be disturbed and meditate. Notice what happens. Does he come and hang out with you or seem more relaxed afterwards? It can be a beautiful experience for you both. Number nine, we're getting a little more technical here of different things that you can experiment with. You can ask questions using kinesiology or muscle testing or using a pendulum. I'll put some links to these things in the comments. It does require a level of skill and lots of practice to get clear, consistent answers. But it can be a great way of finding out things like what your horse needs in his feed today, or to ask him any yes, no questions. And number 10 is not something I personally would do daily or even weekly, but it can be a different and fun way to ask questions and get information about your horse and his needs and that's to use oracle cards. I'll put a link to my oracle cards in the comments too. You can um, shuffle your deck of cards and just ask a general question like, what does he want me to know today? Or it can be something more specific like, how can I best support his health today? 
So, as you can see, even outside of what you probably think are the, the um, correct or traditional ways of animal communication, the woo-woo kind of animal communication, there are lots of different ways that you can practice communicating with your horse. And they'll have the knock-on effect that you will start developing more of the woo-woo side. The more you practice, the deeper your connection and your relationship with your horse will grow and the more likely or often you'll receive information from him. I'd love to know how you get on, so let me know in the comments. And in the meanwhile, keep connecting with your horse. <laughs>